question is, so we're actually going to have to learn inverses next time. It was a little bit too long to do on a Friday. So remember that function composition is just a function operation. When you, you know, there's a couple. There's addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and now function composition. So if you see f of g of x, we know that we can take bx, squish it back in with the g. That would be g of x. Squish it back in with f. That would be f of g of x. And then we know we're taking what's inside the parentheses and simply substituting it in to function f wherever there's an x. Right, everybody? So now make sure we don't confuse this with multiplication. We're substituting it in, right, with function composition. So you'll replace that var any variable with that other function. Okay. So let's just get to these, a couple examples, then I'll just give you the rest of the time to work. So given these two functions, f of a is this and g of a is this, find f of g of a and then g of f of a. So first of all, I have students say, okay, so what's this a out here? Well, it's just notation. Don't we just push this back in to see what we're rewriting this as? So we push a back in with g. Or what I really mean to say is this. Doesn't this just mean we're taking f composed of g and they're both functions of a? Doesn't that a, isn't that a just what that's saying out there? Okay. So we squish a back in with g, that's g of a. We squish it back in one more time, that's f of g of a. So then we're substituting in the inside. We're taking g of a, which is this function. We're substituting it into f wherever there's an a. So in this one, isn't there going to be a substitution in two places? Okay, so it's a little bit harder of a problem. So negative is not in the a squared part. So we're substituting in, replacing a. Instead of a, there's going to be negative a minus 1. So negative a minus 1 squared. Does everybody see where I made that first substitution? The negative's in front, right? The negative's in front, right? Oh, negative a minus 1. Yep. So negative a minus one squared. Good fix. And we won't distribute the negative in because then we'd be squaring it, right? But we're not finished. We have plus two times not a but negative a minus one. Does everybody see how I had to make a substitution in two places? Yes. We're making that substitution, right? We're plugging in wherever there's a mate. What? That's two a. My arrow's covering the little thing. Questions on where I made that substitution? Okay, so then from there, we've got to simplify correctly. Now, once again, would we multiply that negative in front in and then square it? No, right? Because then we'd be squaring negative 1, right? Which is negative 1 squared. Nope. So we're going to ignore that negative for a second, and we're going to rewrite this as a minus 1, negative a minus 1. Negative a minus 1 times negative a minus 1, right? Isn't that that square? Then won't we distribute this through as well? So we'll have minus 2a minus 2, right? Then I've got to multiply this out very carefully. What's negative a times negative a? A squared. A squared, good. And then negative a times negative 1? Positive a, right? Negative 1 times negative a? A. And then negative 1 times negative 1 plus 1. Let's combine like terms. So we have a squared plus 2a plus 1. Now, wasn't the negative 1 multiplied to all that stuff? And all that stuff's this, right? So we got to put that in parentheses and put our negative 1 in front and now distribute that through. So we'll have negative a squared minus 2a minus 1, and then we won't forget about these two things, so we still have a minus 2a minus 2, right, everybody? Then our last thing is combine like terms. So we have negative a squared minus 4a, right? Everybody? Minus 3. And that was f composed of g. Is everybody comfortable with that? A lot of simplification, right? So it's just being really careful as you go through it. You can do it, okay? Okay, so looking at this one, g composed of f of a. So we're using the same functions. We're now doing g composed of f. So we squish a back in with f. That's f of a. Squish it back in one more time. That's g of f of a, right? Everybody comfortable? 
We substitute this into the other function wherever there's a variable. So I find f of a. This is our function of a. We're substituting it into g wherever there's an a. So right there, we'll not be the substitution. So we'll have a negative parentheses, all that stuff, negative a squared plus 2a, and then don't we still have minus 1? Does everybody see where I made the substitution? So then from there, because it's not squared out here, can't I just multiply in the negative? So we'll have positive a squared, and then minus 2a, and then minus 1, and then can't combine anything, right? Questions? Hey, one more, and then I'll let you just go. Oh, did I skip? No wonder. I was like, what the heck? Okay, last example. This one's a little bit easier. I meant to start with this one. Okay. That's why. So f of x, g of x. These are two functions. We're asked to find f of g of x. So that is f of g of x. Don't we squish it back in? Everybody good? So we're substituting in g of x back into f wherever there's an x, right? Now do not multiply it. This is not multiplication. It's function composition. Instead of an x, what's there? X squared. So we have x squared minus 2. Anything we can do there? So x squared minus 2. Yes, do you have a question? Okay, so technically you're only squishing it once and then you put the first one on the outside. Yeah, at least that's how it's going. Yes. So we take x, squish it back in with f, that's f of x, right? Take that, squish it back in one more time, that's g of f of x. So we're substituting in f of x, and for g, wherever there's an x, right? So that's going to be not multiplied, instead of x, there's a substitution of x minus 2 squared. Which we know, because of the subtraction sign, you can't just square this, square this, right? Right, everybody? So we have x minus 2 times x minus 2. Let's distribute very quickly. x squared minus 2x minus 2x plus 4. Combine like terms, x squared minus 4x plus 4. And we have composed g of f of x. Questions? It actually reads composed. f composed of g. So G composed of us. Yep. Okay. So with something like this, be really careful. If you have if you were putting something in and there's two variables, you've got to make it a substitution wherever there's the variable. Okay, so do the front of the worksheet. That's what's gonna be due today. We'll do the back next time. We just don't have time to learn that whole back side. Check with me as you go. <laughs> so true.